So I'm like, okay, now next year it's going to be me yeah. and Thibaut we're going to fight. J July 1st come, I'm playing golf. I get a call, yeah, from a reporter. Yeah, the Montreal just uh, signed Andy Moe to a two-year deal. So uh, uh, Réjean Hull said you're going to go in the minors. Like, Pardon? What? I said, I'm getting cut in fucking July. <laughs> I said, give me a chance at least, you know. So I had a camp, and then finally I that's how I end up passing uh, the spending most of the 21 let me ask in the you minors. now you, you know you'd had the good playoff you'd played the year before a little bit when they signed Moog did you ever meet with the GM like and just and kind of tell him like what the fuck I can do this when they said that right away I, I was fuming because I really thought, I, I was ready to fight for the number one job with Tebow and now I'm being cut just at least say well we're, we brought in experience we're going to see train at least say say the right thing so I'm getting cut so We had a meeting. He's like, oh, just play well. We'll see. So I ended up having solid camp like because I was so pumped up. Yeah. Had a good camp. And then uh, when they send me the last day of camp, they send <laughs> me in the minor because they wanted to kind of keep me till the end. But so then there was like the big thing in Montreal. Is he going to go? Is he going to report there? I'm like, for sure I'm going to report. But that's when you see Montreal. I got like 20 games experience. And I threw a, fr a freaking press conference to explain that, yeah, I'm going to go in the minor and this. <laughs> that's Montreal. Like, And I didn't want to do it. It's just the team said, you know, media's asking. You got to go. We'll th throw a press conference so you could answer because people – I'm like, Fuck, whatever. Uh, who, I think we were just talking to LaRock, and he said that there was a couple teammates going on at one point, and they had to – and, the, and the, oh, who, the yeah. media guy was walking over to open up the door to let all the media in. And he's like, what are you doing? We, there's a couple players going at it right now. He says – God forbid we hold the media out of the room. It, oh, yeah, it, no, it'd it's, be a shitstorm. Yeah, but you, you got to play with the media. Like, you got to almost, it's a, it's a game within the game. You got to deal with the media. I've yeah. had, like, I had a few guys I kept on my side, you know, feed them a little bit of story. Because it's so big, the media, you you have to. So, but uh, Fredericton was great. You played with Terry Ryan, the legend in my mind. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I, I know. I, go, I, I saw you guys. I, he never told you, like, the bet we had. Uh, for a St. Patrick's Day. I never tell it. Let's hear it. He decides, because I love Terry, and it's, it's a fun story. He's not going to mind. But I was nervous what he was going to say, because when I played with him, I was only 20 years old. So he could have he thrown Leave my name ball. out of it, Terry. Yeah, I know. I'm like, no. But <laughs> so all that, anyway, we had a bet. He's like, you know, it's St. Patty's. I'm going to go in a bar, because we all went out to drink in a little pub. He's like, I want to beat a re my own record. I'm going to try to drink 36 beers in one hour, and we'll count it. So he went there. So we're all around it. He puts, puts it. I think after like 25 or something, he gets up for a piss. He just falls straight in his face. That's it. This and he bet. one hour? That was just, yeah, one hour, like 25, I think, or whatever. But he, he had some the previous day. So all that to say, he was a great guy for, for the team uh, uh, bonding. When but. you got sent down, obviously you have the press conference. Did you go down there with a pretty good attitude? Like, hey, I'm going to still work on my game. Well, there you, you have to because, fuck, you're, you're, I was making 40000 a year over there, Canadian you dollars. Like, the I mean, if you, don't, if you don't have the right set of mind, you're the one paying the price. I guarantee you, even when I was there, like a month after, people forgot that I had a press conference and all that. They didn't care about me, so you got you got to work hard. Uh, looking back, do you think it was valuable for you to go down there and yeah, get that it was. experience? L yeah. Looking back, you're like, you know what? It's a pretty big step. Like, I remember even my at uh, 19, I got called up emergency. That was my first game. And I remember just the practices. I'm like, fuck, these guys... I, I, my reflexes are just not good enough. Like, you know, I would get beat. Let's say guy would try, would go down, beat me upstairs. Okay, next shot, upstairs. I'm going to stand up, beat me 5-0. I'm like, I'm just not good enough for this freaking you're league. You're like guessing at that and point. It's always like you get to a point, you think you're not good enough, then you put the work in and slowly you feel you, you belong there. It's just so, such a different game. So, I like mean, yeah, it was good that I was in the minors for the first couple of years.